Hello everybody, welcome back to another Bitcoin update. I'm Chris and today I'm going to do another update about what's happened currently for the Bitcoin price because guys, right now as you can clearly see in front of us, we are forming a symmetrical triangle and we are going for a breakout for time to time. We either break to the upside or either break to the downside. And guys, as you remember, as we broke this massive, massive downtrend movement resistance area, right now there are lots of probabilities as uh, most people believe to see some bullish action to the upside for me personally it doesn't matter because as you know guys i'm still bearish in the long run i'm bearish on this bear market i believe that we're gonna experience guys one more last crash one more last capitulation so for the short term i don't care if we're gonna see some uh, break of this resistance area and and we're gonna get upwards on the price but of course there is a big probability to see a huge breakout which is gonna get us back to twenty two thousand eight hundred dollars which is very very strong support area and if we're gonna break that support area guys then we're gonna get straight with a free fall to the next price target which i'm gonna show you guys on this video so if you would like to know exactly where we are heading with price targets in the short term mid term and also for the long term all you have to do guys is to stay you until the end of the video before jumping to more analysis let's mass 100 likes on this video because with this way you are helping me so much continue this journey and with a very simple process of day like daily comments i share you with your friends i share in your social media you're, you're actually helping me so much and appreciate you for this help and support from the bottom of my heart a big thank you to everyone and let's dive straight to the four hour time frame to begin our analysis because guys as you remember we had this massive massive resistance area of this downturn movement after all this huge huge uh, bullish action that we had which as you know I called it from the first time as a bull trap and after we broke this massive massive uh, support area and we jumped into this downturn movement I told you that uh, finally the bull trap exposed and all these fake theories about uh, the bull run just started the disappear so right now we have uh the emotions guys are mixed some people believe that we're gonna see a crash some people believe that we're gonna see some more relief rally up to $25,000 and then gonna crash and of course there is a minority of people who still believe on the bull run okay but back then when we were on this area most of them 80% 90% were believing that uh, we are going into the bull run okay and on this video guys I will tell you exactly in a very few when I believe personally when we're gonna say with big confidence and announce the beginning of the bull run okay officially so, uh, for now, let's focus for the short term what's happening here because after we broke this downturn movement, we lost all this bearish momentum and right now you can clearly see we, we are consolidating with lots of ups and downs on the Bitcoin price. We have seen crazy volatility the last three days and as you can clearly notice, we are fluctuating within $23,000 and $24,000 and that's why we formed here a beautiful formation of a symmetrical triangle and of course guys that happened because we saw lots of fluctuation on the sp500 and also for the dixie dixie guys the time that it broke the support area of this uh rise wedge pattern which was forming for uh the early days of february the time it broke to the uh downside we experienced this pump that I called you before three, four days. I don't remember exactly that there is a probability of a pump and then a crash. And as you remember, uh, we saw this kind of a pump because I told you, if you remember, you can go and remind yourself if you forgot that we can see Bitcoin pumping because at that time we were at $23,000. I told you there was a probability to see a pump at $24,000 area within $24,250 area as an imminent temporary pump okay and you can on a clear see here guys we saw a pump over $24,000 basically it was exactly at $24,000 and then uh, afterwards subsequently the next coming hours we saw instantly a dump okay and uh, of course that happened because uh, we saw massive massive uh rejection on the dixie massive massive leg down on the dixie these red candles but guys uh 
subsequently we saw this massive pump which right now we are retesting uh, the previous support as a resistance and that's why Bitcoin right now is standing at $23,450 because guys to remind you Dixie is moving exactly opposite with the Bitcoin if Dixie is pumping uh, Bitcoin is dumping if Dixie is dumping then Bitcoin is pumping it's moving exactly the opposite so here we're gonna see furthermore rejection and we're gonna see something uh, like that uh, with a leg down then of course guys we're gonna have a pump over $24,000 for the Bitcoin price and if this scenario is gonna play out of course we're gonna have uh, we're gonna break this symmetrical triangle to the upside and I'm gonna give you my price target for this current situation uh, let's say that we're gonna break the next four to eight hours guys we have here technical price target at $25,500 and uh, if we're gonna break to the downside then we're gonna have around $21,000 $21,250 uh, the technical price target. I'm going to put here a road orange box to see exactly where we are heading. Guys, right now after we broke this downturn movement, my feelings are mixed. I believe that anything can happen, but I give, of course, more probabilities to the crash because fundamentally we're extremely bearish. Technically, in the bigger time frames, as we're going to see in a very few, we are extremely bearish too. And that's why I believe to see 60%, 70% this kind of uh, symmetrical triangle breaking to the downside. But of course, there are a lot, but of course, there are but of course there are some probabilities on the table to see some pump to the upside but as i told you guys i don't care that much if we see a pump to the upside because in the long run of this bear market i believe to one more last crash okay so i'm gonna show you some indicators and we're gonna jump into something else that i would like to show you so uh, guys, here as you can clearly see, um, EMA ribbon is still bearish. Right now, we are testing that as a resistance, so there is a big probability to see a rejection from this point and get straight to retest this massive support at the area of $23,270. And if this scenario is going to play out, of course, I'm going to expect um, a rejection here to this area. And of, of course, we're going to have furthermore pump on the Dixie if the scenario is going to play out with a dump okay uh also we have the exponential moving average which should pay attention because the time that we're going to see guys this cross then we're going to have massive massive rejection the exponential moving average 50 and 200 in the four hour time is still remain bullish okay and uh, if uh we're gonna see a confirmation of this uh, support breakout and get straight to 22 under 22,000 dollars area. We uh, subsequently see the, this kind of a cross, and this cross, guys, it's gonna be actually the beginning, the officially beginning of the crash, the last crash that I'm expecting a lot to see. Uh, also, I would like to show you guys some support areas that are very, very important. First, we have guys to break the $22,800. If we're going to break this massive area, then we're going to see a free fall. And this free fall is going to lead us guys straight to the next very, very important um, support area, which is the $21,500 area. And if we also break this one, then we're getting straight to the next one, which is the $20,500 area. Okay, we have these three support areas, and I believe, guys, we're going to get to these supports with free falls. Uh, but the most crucial right now is going to be the $22,800. So our attention and my attention basically is on this very, very important support area. Because the time that we're going to break it, you're going to see the free fall. And actually here we're going to start uh, getting lower and lower. If this $20,500 area break, and let me put it more correctly at this area the, if we're gonna break this massive support area guys then we're getting inevitably under nineteen thousand dollars and as you can clearly understand then we're gonna have all, all this very situation confirmed and of course from time to time i'm gonna expect to get again back to very low numbers and, and if you ask me guys Chris, what's your worst case scenario according to what you believe? Guys, according to fundamentals, 
Uh, I personally think that we're going to see a recession, some type of recession, really bearish things in the next uh, coming weeks, in the next months, and that's going to cause, guys, Bitcoin and, of course, the world crypto market straight into the maximum pain. And my maximum pain for the Bitcoin price is going to be around $12,000 within $16,000 as the worst case scenario. Okay, so if this analogy is going to play out, then I'm going to expect to see um, following, in, as you can see here in the weekly time frame, this exactly path, guys. I believe that we're going to follow exactly this path. We're going to get back to this descending broadening wedge, and then we're going to see the massive reversal, which is going to break every resistance that we're going to have ahead of us. And as I told you guys, for me, officially, the bull run is going to begin the time that we're going to break the previous support of the previous bull run. Okay, if we're going to break this support, which right now we are retesting it as a resistance, then I'm going to tell you officially that the bull run just began. But until then, I remain bearish. Okay, that's all. Let me know if you have any questions. Drop it down below in the comment section. And guys, I will see you tomorrow with fresh updates and uh, a possible breakout of this symmetrical triangle. Until then, your boy Chris out. Bye.